Hi folks, I'm Dr. Chris Napoli and welcome to this edition of Napoli Health Update. Uh, the topic today may actually shock you. We're going to talk about the dangers of fluoride uh, in drinking water, toothpaste, and, and dental treatments uh, to your health. And as I got further into it myself, I was actually pretty shocked. So um, don't miss this one. Stay right there. Well, first off, I want to thank uh, my patient, Deanna, for asking, uh, bringing up this topic. Um, her son, uh, she has a young son, and, and the pediatrician had recommended that she um, give the baby um, pedi pediatric multivitamin, I think something like polyvisol, something like that, uh, with fluoride in it. And she asked my opinion of that. And I'll be honest with you, I was very surprised that that's even still being recommended. Um, here's why. Um, fluoride is not an essential nutrient to the body. All right, it's not actually not supposed to be there. Uh, according to the Centers for Disease Control and the FDA, there is no minimum daily allowance for it. It's not recommended and it's considered non-essential to the body. So that's point one. Number two, the Centers for Disease Control back in 2001 has said that increased levels of fluoride in the tooth enamel did not result in lower rates of cavities. Okay, which is the only reason that it's actually being used is to lower cavity rates, and it turns out it doesn't do that. Um, as a matter of fact, fluoride in and of itself is, it, is in a high enough level, is toxic. Um, and for that reason, uh, the majority of Europe, European nations, have banned the use of fluoride in the water supply, okay? The, it's, to give you an idea of the toxicity, the amount of fluoride in a half a tube of toothpaste will kill a small child. All right, so be very careful with that because uh, a lot of these toothpastes now are candy flavored. There's uh, bubblegum flavored and things like that. Um, and so, so if you, if after this presentation you still decide that you want to keep fluoride in there, uh, do not let young children brush their teeth without you being right there watching them uh, because it's, it's like candy. They don't know any, any difference. Um, now the reason that most of Europe has banned this stuff uh, is because it has significant negative effects on health. All right, there are now 36 studies that show that fluoride reduces IQ. Okay, that's brain power. All right, and I don't know about you, but I need as much of that as I can get. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the recent studies was at Harvard, and they found that there was a seven-point drop in children who were exposed to higher levels of fluoride. Now, the sources of fluoride are our Water supply, if you live in a place where the municipality fluoridates the water supply. Toothpaste, uh, dental treatments where they do a, a fluoride gel. Um, those, are, those are all places that you can get fluoride. Um, now, in addition to the IQ drop, which is enough for me, um, in communities where the water was fluoridated, there is increased rates of male infertility there's increased rate of hip fractures. Because what happens is the fluoride gets incorporated into the matrix of the bone, the framework of the bone, and it's not supposed to be there. So it actually increases hip fracture rates, especially as you get older, of course. Um, and believe it or not, back in the 1950s, and this is according to the Merck manual, that's the manual that was used to tell, that, that had all the information about how to treat diseases for doctors. Uh, back in the 50s, fluoride was used as a treatment for hyperthyroidism too high thyroid function, okay? Uh, what that means is it brings down thyroid function. Uh, the reason, by the way, is because fluoride, if you remember back to uh, high school chemistry, remember the periodic chart of the elements with all the elements all in a row? All of the, all of the elements in one row all act similarly in chemical reactions. It turns out that if you, in one column we have fluoride or fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, or iodine, we say it iodine, but iodine is in that same period. So it turns out that the thyroid gland will suck up fluoride if it's there, thinking, hey, this is just like iodine. But the thyroid cannot function without iodine, and, it doesn't, and fluoride will not do the same thing. So it effectively starts to reduce and inhibit thyroid function, all right, which is very problematic. Um, now, how do you avoid it? And by the way, the amount that they used to treat hyperthyroidism was two to five milligrams a day. 
the amount that you get in your water supply is anywhere from 1.6 to 6.6 .6 milligrams a day. So that's enough to do the job, unfortunately. So how do you avoid it? Number one, stay away from tap water. All right, unfortunately, or, or filter it. The, the problem is carbon-based filters like Brita or Pure will not remove fluoride. So you need to use either a reverse osmosis water filter uh, or a water distillation system, or you can just purchase for your drinking spring water, bottled spring water, or uh, bottled um, distilled water, okay? I like the spring water better. Uh, now, the other thing is don't use fluoridated toothpaste. All right, well, in our family, we use uh, Tom's of Maine. I know I'm probably not supposed to give a little advertisement on the, on the, on the internet here, but Tom's of Maine is a good product. You can get it with or without fluoride, so be careful. Look for one without fluoride in it. Um, and as a matter of fact, it's also sweetened with xylitol, which is a substance that actually has been proven to significantly reduce cavities. And it's uh, a sweetener that is not, it's a natural sweetener, and it, uh, since they're using that, it means they're also not using saccharin, which is what's in the regular toothpaste. And la lastly, um, don't have the dentist give those uh, fluoride gel treatments because you have to sit, that fluoride gel is very high concentrated fluoride and it sits in your mouth. I think they have to keep it in there for about four minutes and uh, you salivate while that's in there and you're going to swallow some of that saliva. Uh, and by the way, increased rates of fluoride actually cause the teeth to model. To, to get brown and spotchy, slotchy, and uh, they're estimating now up to 40% of the teens in this country, if they've been given treatments like that commonly and in the water supply, they actually have, it's called fluoridosis uh, of their teeth, and that's permanent. So um, pay attention to this. If you have questions about this, feel free to ask me. You can put comments in the bottom of the video or you can email them to me. I'd be happy to get back to you with more information and tell you where you can look up even further info. Uh, and in the future, just like Deanna helped me out with this topic, um, if you like to, if you have questions about things you'd like me to address, send me that. I'd love it. I want to. I want to give you guys answers that you're looking for. So um, I hope that's helpful. Until next time. Thanks for watching. God bless. Be well.